Hey guys, Kinetic Mum Lou here. If you don't know me already, I have three small children, um, eight, five and one. And one of the things I've been thinking about, which I think is really important at the moment, is how do you guard their mental health while this coronavirus um, pandemic is going on? It is really difficult. It's the first thing I would say. I also um, would say that children pick up way more than we think they do. So even when we you know if we go out for exercise and we're telling them to stay close to us and don't go near other people that is really confusing for them because ordinarily they wouldn't necessarily be given that advice so i would actually say to give them um, information at a level that they can understand so what you'd say to an eight-year-old is very different to what you'd say to a two-year-old there are some really good um coronavirus explanations on the web particularly suited for children so I would say communicate with them about what's going on secondly play is so important right now so play is how they process a lot of what is going on in the world it gives them some control over what um, they're doing so instead of being told you need to do this this and this they can actually get absorbed in their play and they can be in charge and they can process a lot of what's going on through their play especially role play I've heard that is also really good my friend is a psychologist and has given me some great tips um, for managing children's anxiety and also just guarding their health and well-being the other thing that I would say is think about what helps you when um, you are faced in a crisis like this. So what are the self-care things that you need? And a lot of them are just as suitable for children. So for example, exercise is great. Um, that's also really good for kids, gets out that extra energy, releases endorphins. Um, relational time, communicating, whether that's with children in their class, if they're that age, or just having some Zoom calls, FaceTime calls with family, or getting down and playing with them just one-on-one. -on -one. That's really good. So I'd say relational time, lots of play, lots of communication. I would love to hear your ideas too. Um, that is definitely not an exhausting, exhaustive list, um, but I think it's so important right now to guard their little minds and um, look after them as best we can and look after ourselves as well. So I'd love to hear from you what your ideas are. Mm -hmm.